Today we're going to talk about two common mistakes that individuals make when adopting an atheist worldview. People that do not believe in God, people that uh, claim that there is no God and they believe this uh, 100%. So we're going to talk about two problems with uh, one way of arriving at that conclusion. And this isn't to insult anybody, it's simply taking a look at uh, a couple ways that may not be the best thought out um, on the part of those that adopt an atheist worldview. Anyway, so stick around for that. If you're interested in the great mysteries of life and the big questions um, and these type of interesting things and philosophy, things like that, be sure to subscribe right now. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get updates when I upload new questions about the many mysteries of life. Many of you are interested in spiritual topics. Is there a God? Do we have free will? And we examine those sort of things in this, uh, on this YouTube channel. I'm Edgar Ortega at Handsome Blind Guy, and I look forward to seeing you here on a regular basis, or at least uh, you'll see me. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll get started right away. Uh, one of the common mistakes that people who adopt an atheist worldview, one of the ones they make, is that they come to this conclusion after, say, believing at some point in some kind of, uh, having some kind of religious belief. For example, they may be born into a Christian family and they're raised to believe the Bible, to believe it's correct, but then they go off to school and they learn about biology, evolution, science, um, all of these things. Uh, and they say, you know, that doesn't really uh, jive with what I've been taught, right? But this seems to be evidence for this. And so perhaps what I believed about creation, perhaps they're taught to be creationists, to believe the Bible, literally, um, perhaps that isn't true. And so they throw that all away and they say, well, clearly it's wrong. And so they say, I believe in science, <laughs> right? And uh, they throw that all away. And so they say, God must not exist. But you see the big problem with this path, to adopting an atheist worldview is that you're not rejecting God or even the idea of God. You're actually throwing it out and all you're doing is throwing out a belief some people have about God. In other words, you're rejecting an attribute, a uh, quality that someone told you is true about God. And it may be true, it may be not, but you came to the conclusion that it is no longer true. And just because that religion in your mind is wrong about the truth about creation, about how we all got here, um, according to you, um, that does not mean that God does not exist. You see, you have an issue with the doctrine. You have an issue with that religion and you're throwing away the idea of God with it. You see, you tied God in with this religion you grew up with and you put so much of, of importance into that that you tossed it aside um, right along with the idea that God could exist. Say perhaps you do believe something about God that isn't true and you find out scientifically, well, that simply isn't true. Um, just because Something about, I'll say, God isn't true doesn't mean God doesn't exist. In other words, if God exists and you believe something that isn't true about him and you find that out, it doesn't mean that God doesn't exist. It just means that thing you thought about God isn't true, right? So really you're rejecting a belief you were taught about God. That doesn't mean God doesn't exist. God can still very much exist as a creator of the world, of the universe, um, but simply your idea about him uh, can change, right? So you can simply throw away. It was like, well, maybe God likely exists. You can look at the creation. You can look at the world and how complex it is scientific, scientifically. You can study it, take any, tar any sort of biology class, chemistry class, and you see how complex it is. And you can come to a logical conclusion. <coughs> Excuse me, that time of year. And you can say, yes, certainly something created all this, right? And so you're throwing away the religion, the belief, um, and you're throwing away God with it. But really, you didn't have to do that. So that's one big mistake that people make when they come to an atheist worldview, um, throwing out God with that belief about God that they rejected. So that's number one. The second problem, or the second mistake that many atheists make, is that they have in childhood again, a negative experience 
with the people who taught them about God, right? And so they have these negative experiences, and so they associate anything to do with God with those negative experiences. And they say, I'm not about that anymore. I'm throwing it all away. I'm throwing away the idea of God along with it. And so they reject this idea that God exists because of their negative experiences about what peop about the people who taught them about God. And unfortunately, this sort of thing happens in any any sort of group. Um, you can have a negative experience uh, with any uh, any group you're involved with or any family members. Um, perhaps they were abusive or simply highly negative, right? Or you don't like the way they treated people. In other words, you're judging the. You're judging God by people that practice a religion. And again, God may not uh, approve of the way they're, they're, uh, they're behaving, right? And yet you're throwing God away along with it. So rejecting the idea of God, saying that you're an atheist, you don't believe in God because of how people acted, that's no reason to um, reject the idea of God. It's just simply an idea to reject acting like that yourself right? We don't want other people to act that way, right? And so that's the other problem with religion. So one of, one of the problems with uh, uh, throwing out religion along with God, rather, is what I meant to say. And so those are the two main mistakes, big mistakes, that you commonly see with people that claim to be atheists, people that adopt an atheist worldview. One, people reject doctrines, religions, completely, and therefore they throw out God with it. But God can exist even if what you believed about God is not true. Second, um, the other mistake is they reject um, God because of the people that introduced them to God, the people that had religion in their family, but they perhaps did not act in great ways or you had a highly negative experience in some way. With those people, um, they were very negative, they were abusive, etc. So you're throwing out the people that taught you about God doesn't mean God doesn't exist. God could be completely different than you were told about God. You don't have to throw it out with it. And uh, like I said, the first one, you're throwing out the religion beliefs about God. So those are two fallacies I commonly see um, atheists make. And uh, it's okay if you disagree with me. You can let me know in the comments. Or if you agree with me, let me know in the comments if these, in fact, are two big mistakes that atheists make when adopting an atheist worldview. Anyway, I hope that was interesting and that you think about it. And uh, if you're an atheist, uh, let me know. Do you reject God because you rejected a religion? Do you reject the idea of God? I'm not talking about it in a religious sense, but just the idea of God, more in a philo philosophical sense. Now, do you re reject God because of the negative experience you had with people? Let me know. Something to ponder, something to think about. Um, I'll pick on uh, uh, other people, other ways of, of thinking, just to make sure we challenge it. That's important that we challenge our beliefs. Um, logically, so that we understand why we believe what we believe, no matter what it is. Not just, I'm not going to pick on atheists all the time, but it's something interesting that we should check out. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. Be sure to like this video, share it if you think it's interesting, and most of all, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll get updates when I upload new videos. I'm Edgar Ortega, handsome blind guy, and I'll see you, or you'll see me, in a future video.